Hey everybody, Unqualified Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Nani Shorts. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about this, oh my god, dumb decisions that adults make. But, you know what? That's just the, that's just, that's, you, you could say that's sort of a, a generalization of what I'm talking about, but I've, I've been really seeing a lot of videos pop up of these dudes that fly Instagram models or only fan models or just regular women that basically, you know, look really good and they fly them out, spend a lot of money on them in hopes of them having sex. And then the women, uh, winds up at the end of the day refusing. And then they're mad and they're like, complaining about it and then turn around and kick them out their hotel or car or whatever like that. So you've been seeing quite a few videos, but this one kind of takes the cake. So this guy flies, uh, I guess this, uh, this video is viral. So all you gotta do is just type in man flies out woman, uh, you know, and then the video should come up. I'm not going to show the video because again, you don't really need to see a video to know, the dumbassery that is happening within this, within this, uh, thing. So apparently this guy flies this woman out and spends over $5,000 on this woman in hopes of having sex with her only for her to refuse his advances. And then when that happens, he creates, he, he starts doing this video and complaining about how, you know, oh, well, they, they was talking and, I, you know, I flew you out because I was, you know, I was hoping he was having sex with me, all that kind of stuff like that. You know, went on and bought her all that kind of stuff like crab legs and dinner and all that kind of stuff like that. And also flew around. She was a bit bougie. But overall, what I'm getting at, though, is, yo, the dude is stupid. And any dude that do this, y'all stupid. And I'm, I'm saying that I'm saying that. Listen, a piece of shit person will always be a piece of shit person. There's, you could clearly tell when there is a wrongdoing. Now I will say this and I, I stand by this just because somebody flies you out and just because somebody pays for something doesn't mean you're obligated to do anything within those realms, unless it's absolutely discussed clear and plain as day. Now, could she made her, her, her point clear from the jump saying, Hey, you can fly me out, but I'm just letting you know that I ain't want, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going down that way. We are not having sex. Could she have done that? Yes. Would the right person have, would have done that? Would a person with a good conscience would have done that? Yes. But this person is not a good person. Why do you, why do people expect? people to be automatically good or be righteous right off the bat. Listen, if you're going to spend 5,000, me personally, if you're going to spend $5,000 on something and your hopes is to get to have said, I'm going to make that point extremely clear. I want to make sure that I'm going to have that in writing. Okay. I want to make sure I'm going to have that in writing. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to send that text saying, I'm gonna fly you out. But the idea of me flying you out, you gotta have sex with me. Does it sound, does it sound off when you say it out loud? Of course it does. But at least you're getting your point across. I respect somebody who just sits there and they say, Hey, I want to take you out to dinner. But the reason why I want to take you out to dinner is because I find you sexy and I want to mess with you. I want to fuck you. And you know what? It's up to that person right there. They say, you know what? I think that's a fair assessment. I'll do that. Or they say, nah, that's not cool. I'm not, I'm not down for that. And you leave them the F alone. You leave them alone. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. $5,000 on a regular person that don't even have the guarantee to give you pussy or what you want. You a dumbass. You're a grown ass man. You a dumb ass. And you sitting there, you talk about, oh, you, you, you stupid, you stupid, you stupid. Nah, nigga, you stupid. You stupid. You stupid. 
<laughs> and any 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 dude that do this, you're stupid. I don't understand how people can sit there. I know this is going into a rant, and I don't care. I'm going into this. I don't understand how people can criticize and look down upon people who just say, "I'm just gonna get a prostitute." I don't understand how society looks down upon that, because at least with a prostitute, you know exactly what you're getting. Know exactly what you're getting. You're paying for the service of having sex with somebody. Hell, you can get an escort. You can get an escort. Dude, you got $5,000 at your disposal. You're somewhere that, that you don't live. You're, you're going to a hotel, order an escort. There's plenty of websites out there that, that, you can, that you can order from. And I'm talking about some good, classy ones too. Like, you get women that is way out of your league and for the pickings. There is no reason in 2022 with all the information we have at our disposal, there is no reason for you to go down this route. Y'all just want to be got. That's all it is. I'm seriously, y'all just want to be got. Y'all seriously want to be victims. And I think that's what it really boils down to. The accountability with our generation is so minuscule. And I'm not even gonna say, matter of fact, no, scratch that. I'm not gonna say my gen our generation, because that's goes to all around people in general. People don't like pointing the fingers at themselves saying, I'm the problem, I'm the reason. People don't like doing that. And we need to start doing that. This is not just this is not just a, a man and woman thing. This is everybody thing. Everybody be making some dumbass decisions online, posting it up, and then expecting people to be on their side, coddling them. No, you're a grown ass man. You're a grown ass woman making grown ass decisions. You stand by your decisions. If the decision wasn't right for you, you look yourself in the mirror. You say, "Damn, that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good decision that I made." Let me do better next time, and you learn from it. It is okay. And I'm telling you, the reason why, the reason why I'm, 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 I'm saying these dudes are dumbasses is because this is not the first time. You could tell this isn't the first time. You could tell sometimes they get it right and sometimes they don't, but they don't get the whole entire picture. If your whole incentive is to have sex, then you make sure that that is the agreement between both of y'all before you even buy the goddamn ticket. Make sure that it's in writing or everything. Make sure your ass is covered on all shapes and form. Now, I didn't go into the whole text messages and what she might have said and all that type of that. That's not what's displayed on this video. And a lot of other videos with dudes explain about how she's using guys. Okay, she uses guys. Pick better people. <laughs> And I would say to say I say the same thing on the opposite end too. It's a very, it's a very unpopular phrase of pick better people. Very unpopular. Very, very, very unpopular phrase because a lot of people don't like that. And a lot of people say, oh, but that's so victim blaming. No, it's not. No, it's not. Pick better people. Pick better people. Pick, pick, pick better people in your life. That goes for friends. That also goes for family. Because what I mean by pick better family, it's not about, you know, you, you're not, you can't help what family you're born into, but damn it, you, when you get to a certain point or get to a certain age, you can choose whether you want to be around them or not. Take control of yourself. You are an adult. You make adult decisions. Love yourself enough to be alone. So you be, so, so you can, so you can X out people that aren't right for you. Therefore, you won't be on these apps talking about men ain't shit. Or you're or you're on these fucking podcasts. Well, you know, women, 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 women be, be cheating on us and, and, and women, women. Nah, nah, nah. See, people in general, all the way around, regardless of what color you are, what gender you are, what sexuality you are, everybody has a potential of being the biggest piece of shit on this planet. Your job as an adult, as a person is to recognize some of these traits and to protect yourselves from these assholes. Learn from your mistakes. It's okay to get got. It is okay to get got. It's okay to be conned. 
Because how can you know that you're being conned if you've never been conned before? Nobody on this planet who's been living has never been conned. Everybody has been conned. The objective though is did you learn from your mistakes? Did you learn from you being conned? Is it embarrassing? Yes, it is. But guess what? It's the most common thing that we all experience. Being conned is a form of failure. Failure is the greatest teacher that we ever have in life. It's up to you ready want to learn from that. But that's all I got to say about this matter. People, take control of your life. Dudes, women, you know, learn from your mistakes and try to pick out signs and try to, and try to keep mental states on how people treat you as a person and learn how to love yourself enough to move yourself away and love yourself enough to be by yourself from time to time. So you have a better sense of yourself because once you start repeating like these guys on here, oh, I'm going to spend $5,000 to get this Instagram model, you know, cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to fuck. Get a prostitute. There's nothing wrong with it. Get a prostitute. You can go to Vegas. Go get a prostitute. If money's not an issue, get a really good prostitute. Have yourself the pickings. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't see you. I don't see you as any less of a person. In fact, I might. I'll, I'll see you as a, as a very smart person, because at least you know what you want, and you're you're going to get it if you pay for it. <laughs> but this. That's not smart. You look even more of a dumbass by filming yourself getting got like that. And I guarantee that's not the first time. And there's plenty of other motherfuckers out there that is doing the same exact thing. And y'all trying to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, if they would be nice. No, no, assholes gonna be assholes. Criminals gonna be criminals, assholes gonna be assholes. Racists gonna be racist. You gotta learn how to, you gotta learn how to view, how to pick them out and protect yourself. Otherwise you'll forever be a victim. That's all I gotta say about that. If you, like I said, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Let me know whether I'm right or wrong, whether you agree or disagree, doesn't matter. Let's just have a discussion. But uh, that's all I gotta say about this matter. Thank you for watching or listening for my rant up to this point. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, this is Unqualified Gamer signing out. Peace.